Ah, Marazai, of course. Marazai casually gestures with his hands, either welcoming you or inviting you to admire the brutalized hall. I wonder what he's up to. At last, I was beginning to think that your lumbering bucket had perished on the way back. Such a resolution would have satisfied neither you nor me, would it? The Drakari freezes for a moment. Oh, I can feel your anger, your rage, and your pain from witnessing the state of your horse. I trusted that you would appreciate our efforts here. I could have long vanished in the tangles of the webway without awaiting your arrival, monkey. But I could not refuse myself the small pleasure of savoring your torment at the sight of what I have done to your home. Great. Ah, uh, Lord Marazai. Yeah, and as you say, Alistair, who looks at this character so far and is like, oh boy, I want him as a companion. Or even more, yay, my only gay romance in this game, let's go for him. Um, how about no? You are still with him, cousin. Marazai's voice is dripping with saccharine mockery. How fares your search for your lost family? Or is being at a monkey's back and call occupying all your thoughts and time? For damaging a rogue trader's palace, we condemn you to death. May the Emperor show you mercy, cause we will show you none. I don't think the Emperor would show mercy to Dukari. You will be silent, Dark One, or I will silence you myself. Why the heck did you attack the palace? The sole thing that your kind is good for, monkey, is your ability to suffer. I have long been surfeited with physical pain. You can provide an abundance from their cages in Komora. The pain of the soul, on the other hand, is a rarely light. After all, I to recompense you for all the trouble you have caused me. Where is I casually sitting on the throne? True. I don't know if you know those memes about like um, gay or queer people sitting weirdly on chairs. That is very fitting. I say we give him to the other Xenos that be a fate worse than death. Oh, true. However, I did not give you a gracious grift as well. That pesky meddling Terzara who harrowed your little worlds for so long. You've garnered her head, and I. A peaceful existence where she's not constantly in my way. It gives you a thin smile. To die at the hands of a monkey is the worst possible punishment for a champion of the gladiatorial arenas of Komora. Her final moments were torturous. Tazara was under the impression that we were working together. What nonsense did you put into her head? Hmm. The pompous ways of skin thought that I would associate with Monkey. I wish I did not leave her to death to you and instead cut out her heart myself. Still, to take note of my interest in your person was quite perceptive. Even more so for a brainless arena witch. But why? What is so fascinating about us? Now that our meeting has taken place, my business here is done. I've spent enough time in real space, and it is time to bid you goodbye. What the heck? It's the typical cliché of... of a villain just like talking with you over and over again, but never facing you, like always sending like higher-ranking... Um, higher-ranking minions, and well... I don't want to leave you all alone. You wouldn't appreciate that, would you? Thanks. Camelites of the Reaving Tempest, I leave this monkey to you. Enjoy yourselves! What an outro. <sighs> Another fight, here we come. I will wipe your disgusting presence out of existence. Do not plead for swift death. Uh, it doesn't look worse than the battle outside, I'd say. Ooh, chimeras. You look very interesting. I like the many eyes and the tentacle. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, just thinking about where to place 
our special weapon. And of course I'm talking about Cassia. So we're putting her here and hopefully we can attack those three. So Edward, you go here. Heinrichs and Pascal, you go there. Um, Elliot, we're putting here. Argenta here, and here we go. Okay. I'll make it happen. We can do this. Um, frontline here. So we can turn it into. No. Frontline Who here, I think. Me. And what I want to try. I can put. I hate that you can't that you can't uh, change the orientation of the zones. Of course, I would have loved to put those two into a zone and then just declare that one the death zone. Well, I guess not. I'll make it happen. A chimera. Plural chimera. A terrifying creature, literally born from an intelligent being's nightmares. They spawn in the warp or on demon worlds, coalescing into existence like malignant cysts around the psychic energies that fear and terror leaves in the Immaterium. Charming. You know? This as good as done. And do you magic Cassia? On it. Also, I mean, who are we kidding? She's basically a warp mage. Basically psycho. Um, easy advantage. Day. And hope for the best. Please work. Come on. You will pay for this. Did you just resist my attack? How dare you? Undam the Seed of Souls. When an effect of any navigator's power, enemies have their armor reduced by 22. It's just Ah, negates all incoming damage from every second successful attack. Well, that's um, sad. And look at that. Her initiative is good. That's good. Hey, Edward. Uh, take. Stay in cover. Ouch. 29 damage. Alright, we can just have some more fun and do it again. Press the advantage again, and... I can taste my blood. That was not enough for momentum. Uh, okay. Let's hope for the best. Let's boost Edward. Let's hope we can kill the chimeras. Here we go. Yeah. Why can't you shoot? My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Uh, I haven't. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, I hate it. That's stupid. Yeah, well. I'm a member. That foils my plans. I mean, it takes a while to, um, to Edward's turn us again, so we're just gonna give someone else another turn. We're going to go for earlier. Paint your death Our in colors. Favorite Eldari. Bounty. If it serves your cause. Bounty. Um, this tedium is beneath me. I understand your Want intent. It? I hear you moving, nice. no more. This won't affect it, I think. But if well, I must. Still. Let's take you again. I am not your Xenos pet, more. I deal death with nice. my hands. Okay. We can attack some more people. Let's see who's next in initiative. Oh, hey! You. I do I just have a 38% chance to hit. If it serves your Come course. on, hit! Damn it. Once again. I understand your intent. Fortune favors the swift. Okay. We do not have any 
Any more bullets? Um, hmm. Hey, Cassia, we're putting you here, I guess. I have read tomes of military tactics. Let's pray. As the Emperor commands, I ask. <clears throat> Emperor, help us. Just gonna mark him as prey and then immediately claim that the bounty. That is not the Emperor's will. Here we go. Come on. Nice. Um, piercing shots. for the weak. Half bolt. And let it rain. Now I could also just go for fire mastery. I mean, we can attack at least. We can attack enough people. Let's go. I am his will made manifest. Let's start. Who's next? This witch. I don't think we can attack him. Nope. Uh, this beastmaster. Let's go for him. I will tear your heart out for this. I'll do it. This is why I was oh, chosen. Come on. As the Emperor commands, I am eradicated. Your time. Uh, a work for a this nightmare creatures are used by the Drakari as gladiator entertainment and as hunting animals and war animals. They are unrelated to the four chaos gods and are natural animals of the wolf that can be tamed easily and acquired due to the webway being in the wall. Oh. So they are not inherently. Oh, could you have them as nice pets? I'll do it. But they are safe <laughs> demon animals in the sense that they can't cause war rifts. Neat. I refuse. Mm, sad. Come on. Yeah. Faith without deeds is worth. Nice. Here we go. Nope. See, that was the new talent I told you about. Alright, who's next? You. you. Yeah, okay. Those two I definitely can't kill this turn. I have to try with this you. Is beneath me. Let's exploit. Mark. I really like the combination of uh, Bounty Hunter and. Um, uh, Operator. I don't know how the first class with the um, with the analyze enemy skills is called. If it serves your cause. Go. If I must. I am not your Zeus pet. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Not completely. Sad. But he's poisoned. I like that. Hmm, toxic burst. Yeah, keep dodging Heinrichs. I like their warp. I don't know, I'll tail. The warp following them. Cool. We do have quite a few enemies here. Let's just go here. Um, make myself a buff. Glory. And strong and sexy. Uh, aim for the opening. We're just focusing on. That's not the name, it's the species. Sleuth. Naturally. On this one. Death was I fine. won't object to it. What's the strike? Let's see to it. And slash. I won't object to it. Oh, that wasn't too powerful, actually. Anyway. I don't want to. I want to hurt Heinrich, to be honest. Maybe we do that. The scriptural prognosis is. Aim for the opening. Uh, if we go here, we can do that as well. Save. Let's go for the Death Whisper. Combat is an equation. Your life is a of shadow, and then we're using the brutal strike. Go. Running by and once more, full momentum. Just in time, Fire Wars. 
Cool. I'd say we definitely put um, the front line here and make it a kill zone. I won't stand for it. Oh, nice. Forty wounds now. I think cause of the um, how's this called? Voice of Command by Cassia. Neat. Uh, Pascal, here you go. Such a nice skill. Bring it down. Cassia. And we're moving Cassia now here. Uh, just emulating souls. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Just warpy fire. Hey, yeah, come on, hit me. Taking calculated risks is in my second nature. Ah, oh, let's try to hit him in return. You should have thought twice before crossing me. I definitely should um, be using the warp, uh, the warp weapon, the plasma weapon more. Okay, Cassia, have fun. You should feel honored to witness this. Just want to see who I can attack. I can attack everyone except this one, but I think I will have. Enough to do with those two. So press the Me? advantage. If you insist, Lord Captain. And I think emulate the soul is smarter. Because it deals slightly more damage, like two to four more damage. And it's two AP, but it also hits two. So here we go. Nice. And together with press the advantage, it's, it's amazing. Try to die with grace, at least. Bye bye. Okay, now we can look at people. We look at you. Another bird painted black. And you. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Your last stroke of luck. And you again. I am a navigator. Not I feel a foul breath. And we can't attack you, which is very sad, but hey. Come on and play. Wow. Okay, it's Cassia's turn. Been ages. Be careful not to cross my gaze. If only that were possible. Here we go. It is possible. If I may. <laughs> nice. Playing on Daring was a good idea. Your Lordship, thanks to your breakthrough, we were able to clear out the estate. Right now, with the aid of your ship's augurs from orbit. The surface troops are sweeping the streets of the Hive. Squads have been sent deep into the city. Several units have been assigned. My apologies. Of course you will learn all of this from the reports. Your appearance on Dagonis as a boon from the God Emperor has brought us salvation. On behalf of all of Dagonis and House Wasarian, I thank you for delivering us from our falls. It would be nice to just be like, you're welcome. <laughs> but you either can be cruel or harsh, or you can say, uh, I was just doing my duty, nothing more. And by your will, you will have preserved countless lives, your lordship. The Agonis owes you a debt that can never be repaid. We will continue the cleanup of the estate and the neighboring territories. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after Sheps. After effects of. We must deal with the rubble, the corpses, and any other after effects of the fighting. The surviving forces will be enough to repel any sporadic enemy attacks if they are launched. According to the last reports, the Xenos are pulling out en masse. If other matters require your attention, I won't detain you any longer. Please allow us to ensure that Dagonis has returned to its former glory. Which will probably take quite some time. And hey, thanks for following, Sheep. Nice to see you around. Hope you enjoy it. Mistress Solomon has sent a message requesting an audience. She has a critical report to deliver and she will be waiting for you on the ship's bridge. Yeah, I wonder how long it takes. And hmm. If the Dukari invasion was the finale of Act 2, keep your wits about you. I truly don't know what's happening in Act 3. Oh boy, everything is destroyed. The Inquisition taught me many things. But I mean, we best have to hurry, so it is a success. We should celebrate this. Wait. 
But we still do not know why, right? Is it like a personal feud from Marazai? But I mean, why? Is it something from Theodora? Something she did? Hmm. Rise to the top, or get no, left in the dust. Needed? I think that's all we have to do. Check to the Vox Master, return to the ship, and wait. Those are things I can do. Your curry just being dicks, I guess. Yeah, seems like it, but so random. And oh boy, thanks so much, Juniper. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Is there money to be made? I wonder if our Vox Master has anything, anything more, like any insights or something. It also seems so uncoordinated. And I mean, especially Marizai really seemed like he was just waiting for us to, to go there, right? And really wanting to have that typical villain talk. I don't get it. Welcome back, Lord Captain. During your absence, we assisted the ground forces by coordinating their movements from orbit. Detailed casualty and damage reports have been submitted for your personal. It is with deepest awe that I inform you that the timely intervention and the resilience of the world's defenders managed to break the back of the raid, which had threatened to turn into a protected war. The Gonus suffered losses, but the Hive has sufficient capacity to restore the administrative networks and industries as expeditiously as possible. The world remains intact, despite the ins insidious blow dealt by the Xenos. Which is also, I think, quite the success. I guess it could have gone much worse. I've been given Skalinda's reports that he failed to deliver in time. They indicate that Xenos' activity dropped sharply after he departed for the Cinderous Maleficum. Considering the scale of Dagona's raid, it is safe to assume that Kari used up all forces at their disposal, and may now require some time to replenish the losses. Without Achilles, we are blind to the scheming of these enemies of humanity, but our strategists are still hoping for a lull in attacks and raids, which will allow us to gather our strength for a new conflict. I wonder if there's something more to it. It still feels like we're just, I don't know, overlooking something or just not knowing something. Marisa just seems way too smug. Lord, Rakari got stopped by PDF forces. Lord, what a disaster. <laughs> Lord Captain, permission to report. Aren't you doing that already? The Vox Master says, looking at you differentially. Your worst lax mechanics have analyzed the state of the Protectorate. The belief that, thanks to your decisive actions, the acute phase of the crisis has passed. The domain of the Von Valencia's dynasty is no longer facing dissolution and ruin. What's more, bringing footfall to heal has strengthened your position as a rogue trader. Lady Theodora would have been glad to have such an important trade hub come under her sphere of influence. Interesting. Yeah, I think it was a really good idea to not let uh, footfall fall to um, the shorter. Rogue Trader. In honor of such resounding triumph, Dag Dagonus, at the capital world of Eudinus' domain, is currently making preparations for the Magnae Accessio, a grand ceremony of your public induction as. Induction? Induction as the heir of Honorable Theodora von Valencius. Governor Drive's team has vowed to not, that not even the recent devastating and tragic events will be permitted to cast a shadow over this most glorious occasion. Neat. And then finally, the Adeptus Administratum will recognize us as a road trader, and we don't have to wait in line and, I don't know, do weird things to skip positions. So, what is the ceremony? I swear an oath, then I shake a lot of sweaty hands. The grill of the Vox built individual's face lets out a short rattle that indicates a chuckle. That much is certain, but that's not all there is to it. There will also be a reception, as well as other noble guests, 
The distinguished rogue traders Caligos Winterscale and Incendia Shorter will be in attendance. Ooh, nice. Finally get to meet them. It will be a great honor for the Gurners to host three illustrious dynasties at once. Your servants wish to know your opinion on two matters related to the ceremony arrangements. The first of which is, what festive, was, what festive activities are to take place in the capital on this glorious dale? Let's do something nice, especially because our whole planet is basically destroyed. Let the poor be fed and fewer cells handed out to those in need. My reign shall begin with an act of benevolence. Your subjects will appreciate your generosity, Lord Captain. We are never short of people in need. Which is kind of sad. I like Winter Scale. Well, then I'm excited to meet him too. The second matter on your servant's mind is, which two of your closest companions will be given the honor of standing by your side during the ceremony? Hmm. I wonder how much effect that has, like who to choose. I mean, of course we're using... we're using... <laughs> we're choosing Heinrichs as our very dear lover. Hmm. Heinrichs will stand beside me. The presence of a member of the Inquisition beside you will serve as the best possible proof of your loyalty. Ah, yeah, sure. And who will be your second companion? Hmm. I'm kind of inclined to give it to Cassia, because like, Cassia seems like, from the current party, like, Cassia and Heinrich seem to be like our closest allies, and I really like Cassia. Uh, yeah, I think using Elliot sounds like not the best idea. Um, we don't really do too much with Idira and Jai and Abelard. The honor will go to Cassia. A great boon for the Navigator House of Salio. I will see to you that, that your instructions are delivered to Dagonus. The Master of Ceremonies at the Palace will report to you when the capital is ready to praise your name. 